All right, we're on our way to California. We will see you guys in California, about eight hours away. All right, in and out is required. We don't have an in and out anywhere near, so it's gonna be kind of legit. Which one's mine? This one? The doubles. Did I get like no uh, mm -hmm. honest review of in and out? What do you think? I'm hungry. It tastes great. Okay. All right, in and out. I've always thought it's kind of mid, but we're gonna try it here. Side note. Try their pink lemonade. Not bad. But we're on our way to California. We still have quite a ways to go, but yeah, we will see you guys at the hotel in California. My mom on the crib called me icon. Look at how did I do it now? Yeah, your little boy. Oh, let's go to bed. Alright, we have made it to our hotel. Oh gosh, it's midnight and Ada and I are exhausted so she's already in bed passed out pretty much but we're gonna hit the hay. I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll tell you a little bit more about what's gonna happen in today's episode. What do you have to say? It was not a very fun night. Yeah, so I don't even know what time it is. We'll get you guys a time check. It's 8 o'clock, and our appointment that we have is at 9 o'clock. And I'm not going to tell you guys about what it is. We'll until give you a we... couple hints when we get there. Yeah, I, once I get there, I'll actually give you guys a couple of hints. On, like, the things we bought for it. And you guys probably already saw by the thumbnail, but... Oh, God, it's a surprise. It is a surprise. So... Yeah, we are, uh, we're literally about ready to walk out of the door here at the hotel and uh, get the heck out of Dodge. It, this room was not very good, but I mean, I can't really complain for it being midnight and all that good stuff. So yeah, we are getting the heck out of here. At least we're in California, so I can't complain. Not too bad. We'll pick you guys back up here in just a little bit. Okay, so we're at a dog park. That's the first clue. This is where we'll be getting our surprise. And we're going to show you the second clues, which is all the things that we got for it. So this is the first toy. Our dogs personally like the little crinkles, so maybe we thought our surprise would like it. Then we got this one that's pretty much going to be just as big as the surprise. It's got squeakers. Then we got these little chew toys and ropes for it to play with. Then we got these snakes, which these squeakers, if you ever see these, get it. They're indestructible. I don't care what anybody says, they do not get destroyed. Like, any dog will have them. My dog had them from, like, birth. They are annoying. And then we got this cute leash for the surprise. And then Devin picked this one out. It's a collar, and it's pretty adjustable because we don't know the full size of it. Then we got this toy and it's a skunk so training it early then we got a pig ear which the dogs that we already have love them and these uh peanut butter filled bones so they're hard bones that don't splinter and they have peanut butter inside and we also got antlers so hopefully the surprise will be able to chew it the entire drive home from california back to oregon so right now we're just going to kind of sit here and wait uh, for the person to get here. They should be here in a few minutes. Yeah, we showed up a little early. Yeah, it's uh Right now it's almost 10 o'clock. You guys probably can't see but yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock we We're supposed to meet at 9, but we got breakfast and yeah, just kind of been hanging out, but I'm super excited I know that you guys should be excited because for those of you guys that don't know my dog River actually uh, passed away so a while ago because videos are extremely behind and from real time so yeah <laughs> that's just kind of how youtube works for those of you guys i don't know but yeah basically we're gonna wait for this guy to get here i should be here in just a few minutes hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed he's actually a real person that wants to sell us a dog because we drove way too freaking far i know that's so, crossed my mind too waiting yeah i know the guy was like he keeps like pushing it back 
running behind and it's like eh, I just hope he doesn't flake on us but yeah fingers crossed it works out good so uh, we'll pick you guys back up once they get here with the dog What do you have? I have our surprise. She's so precious. Her name is Delilah. What is she? She's a 100% American Kennel Club registered purebred Great Pyrenees. I'm so excited. She's so precious. All right guys, so this is Delilah, our Great Pyrenees that we just got. Um, currently, because we have a extremely long drive all the way home. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just drive home. Um, we'll, we'll probably document a little bit if it's super snowy or if we stop at rest stop. <laughs> but yeah, we'll end up, um, I'll end up like picking the camera up tomorrow and then you know we'll talk to you guys more about it tomorrow. Um, just because, but yeah, we are uh, gonna get on the road here. We have a long drive home, so uh, we'll see you guys back at the homestead. So it's actually been a few days uh, since we got home, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys partial update slash reason why we got the dog plus she's actually doing really well she is getting used to her home life here but i'm gonna just kind of show you guys kind of what we have going here back here behind me i don't really know what you can tell but back there it's like all just brush and right here there's no brush so we uh have been just kind of moving the goats around here and there if you guys watch the old videos they were all the way over on the other side of the property and since then we have moved them over here we've just kind of strung up the electric fence and uh we've made a pretty big chunk of area here for them to clear out but the reason behind me clearing this area is one we have been working with the shop that is on the property which i'll show you guys here there is kind of what we've been working with it still needs a lot of work but this whole area here is just full of just crap so what I'm kind of doing right now is having the goats come in here and eat all this stuff and then I'm going to pay somebody to have them come in here and clean this and then right here we're going to put uh, the sled and the drift boat. It's going to get parked right here. Either we're going to get permits to build off of the shop or I'm just going to get a couple more Vivor canopies which brings me actually to the reason why I'm kind of also making this. Today's video is actually sponsored by Vivor so they were kind enough to send me another one of these canopies and this one is actually just a uh like just kind of an outdoor canopy that has windows on it but I'm actually using it for the goats to stay in for time being because we had one up it got snowed on and it broke but then we put this up and it got snowed on and it has worked great so it's kind of a nice little easily movable shelter for the goats so the uh, puppy here i'll show you guys really quick she has been acclimating to her new life really well she's becoming really good friends with all of our goats here so that works out really nice but yeah i just wanted to uh come out here and then show you guys a little setup that we got it's working pretty good definitely uh really exciting but hayden is actually on his way over to my house right now we're gonna go do a little bit of steelhead fishing so Maybe we can catch something today. It's kind of late in the day, but doesn't mean that we can't catch fish. The river, uh, the bottom part of the river is definitely going to be blown out for sure with all the feeder creeks. Top half of the river might be decent, but I think we're going to kind of start from the top, go to the bottom, fish somewhere in the middle. So stay tuned and uh, we will see you guys at the river. And uh, good thing Delilah is really going to definitely love her life. And also, Dobby decided to come over and hang out. Oh God, get out of here. All right, we'll see you guys at the river. Your head, your head. Looks really juicy. Dude, what if I catch one? It's gonna be freaking awesome. You can't get this deer head. High water unicorns. Fish. Steal it. Steal it. The drag won't pull. I want it to come out. I got him, dude. He's just right here hanging out. He's like not fighting though. It's like not fighting. I don't understand. It's not fighting at all. Oh my God, there it goes. 
he is going to 100% pop off right here. I don't have any control of this thing. It's a hatchery fish, dude. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. I'm going to bonk this thing, actually. Well, that was cool. I'm going to walk over to Hayden and get his reaction. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, will you take my picture really quick? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Is there more? I don't know. I hooked it like second cast. Well, I got 12 mil clowns. what do you think, Hayden? Pretty legit. <laughs> That's so funny, you dude. walked up and had to steal him. Yeah, I literally walked down there. I mean, I'll put a little time up like on the screen how long that took me. But yeah, that was really funny, honestly. But up here tying. Yeah, Hayden literally hasn't even tied up a bead yet. And I caught one. So I'll show you guys the fish really quick here. That's a good looking fish though. Yeah, peep the new 541 logo too. I think that's pretty sick. It looks good on Hayden's track. But yeah, I'm gonna walk back over here and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch another one. I think there's gonna be fish kind of laying through the whole little area here, but yeah, can't really complain. What's funny is I actually joked with Hayden earlier because I'm wearing uh, jeans and my dry coat boots and I was like, the only way I catch steelhead is if I'm in jeans and boots. Anytime I put my waders on, I can't catch a fish. So, can't complain too much, but yeah, we're gonna go back down here. I'm gonna keep fishing. So we're gonna put you guys back on my chest. See if we can get another one, maybe. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to show you guys the setup that I'm rocking really quick. Now, I don't know how the audio sounds or how any of this looks because it's on my GoPro because I am soaked and it is extremely wet out here. But I'm running a pretty simple setup here. So I have my Okuma, Kmar HD with 40 pound Power Pro Super Slick line. I have that paired up on my Okuma Cascade Pro. This is a nine foot eight, six to 15 pound rod. Now the setup I have attached to my rod is pretty dang simple. So we have a bead, a Aerofloat Chubby Bobber, a bead, a three-way swivel with a half ounce Dave Tangle Free or a P-Line Dragon Ball. And the reason I'm running a half ounce is because the water is a lot faster than normal. Now I am running 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon line down to, this is a clown colored BNR soft bead. And that's just pegged on the T-stop down to a size two Gamagatsu octopus hook. And it's a pretty dang simple setup. I mean, that's pretty much my go-to steelhead setup if you guys watch my videos, but we're gonna keep giving this a shot here. I obviously caught that nice hatchery fish, so I can't complain too much, but yeah. Thank you guys for staying tuned for this episode. I'm gonna go back up there, see if we can maybe catch another fish or uh, just keep getting soaked. Ooh. You get a sniff in there or what? Swung like a fucking fish. Oh, yeah. shot underwater so fast I thought it was a fish. I think it's somebody else's line. It's definitely somebody else's line. Like yeah. can't complain, I got it back, I guess. Straighten my hook out a little bit, but screw it. Yeah, I'm about ready to go anyways. I'm getting soaked. Fish, another steelhead. Steelhead. Oh, I have on a bent hook, dude. Dude, there's no way. It's on a bent hook. I, oh my God, it's huge, Hayden. It's, it's huge too. Dude, it, did you see it? I'm, there's no way I'm landing this thing. I got that whole thing on video too, dude. Of me saying, screw it, we ball. That was my last cast too. That was going to be done, honestly. It's, dude. No! Oh, it came off. It came off. It was so fucking big. It was huge, dude. I knew it was going to come off with the bent hook. I got to show that to the camera. Look. It's completely bent out. All right, everybody. 
that is going to do it for today's episode. I just want to say uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Unfortunately, we did not land that monster steelhead there at the end. But, oh well. All in all, it was still a fantastic day. I'm excited to uh, go home to the puppy and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. And we will see you guys on the next fishing adventure.